A memorable last patrol for the deputy chief in St. Paul as a family legacy lives on within that department. He went out with his son today, one week before his retirement. Rob Olson joins us live from police headquarters tonight. Rob, this family has three generations of police officers. Yeah, and in St. Paul Police, you know, it's often a family affair here. There have been a lot of instances uh, still now of multiple family members, multiple generations in this department. So now is uh, one generation here, deputy chief, prepares to retire. Another generation is just getting going. And today, a pretty special way for the two to kind of pass the torch. We're both learning a lot today. It's been a while since he's been out and I'm new as is. So yeah, it's been great so far. For a few hours in St. Paul, a sentimental journey. Father and son riding side by side in a squad working a patrol. In this case, St. Paul's East Side, where the father began his career and now the son is doing the same. Now here he is in the basically in the same seat, same neighborhoods doing the same thing. So it is, it's it's that's rewarding, right? It's just not too many people around here have that opportunity. Don Benner joined the St. Paul Police in 1990, followed his father Butch's footsteps, who retired from the department in 98, rose through the ranks to become deputy chief and head of major crimes, is currently the highest ranking African American in the department. It's like, wow, well, you're up on the sixth floor now, you know, it's kind of a big shot, so. <laughs> his son Donovan is now a third generation St. Paul cop, Don personally pinning the badge on Donovan a few months ago. Big shoes to fill. I'm a big guy, but I don't know if I'll ever climb the ranks like he did. But Don is now retiring next week. But before he finished his job at headquarters, wanted this one thing. This moment, yes. It had been years since Don worked to patrol, but for this one day, he became his son's field training officer. On the streets together to pass the torch, hard to tell who enjoyed it more. I grew up watching this guy, helping him get dressed to go to work and putting on his belt keepers. So to finally be side by side with them out on the streets, it's kind of, it's really rewarding. Yeah, you could really tell that they both were very much enjoying this opportunity. Uh, the deputy chief, it had been a long time since he'd been out uh, uh, on the streets in a squad car. And so this was a great way for him to, to kind of reminisce a little bit with his son. Uh, he said his advice for his son, any other incoming officer right now, is just always remember to treat people as you would have them treat you with respect. That is a major component, he said, of doing this job. As for what he plans for retirement, he told me nothing. Hmm. And he's very much looking forward to that. Back to you. No. Love that what story. A great Rob. legacy. Yes. Thanks to Don for all of his years of service with St. Paul PD and good luck in retirement doing absolutely nothing. And good luck to Sundown. Yes. Right?